Hey friends, uh, it's Claire again. This is going to be a very short video. Um, just to recap, my name is Claire. I like to go to thrift stores, to antique stores, and estate sales and, and stuff like that. And I find small, joyful things. I find things that make me happy for any number of reasons. And I've got a thing to show you today. So let's get started. What I've got is this lovely little bowl. It is a hand-painted ceramic, and you can see that the painting is slightly, it's slightly raised. These are probably enamel paints of some kind. Um, these would have been painted on before the, the glaze was put on. The bowl itself is actually quite small. I'll take my ruler again. So you see just under five inches. And perhaps just, you know, just two inches. Maybe I'm angling that wrong. There we go. Just about two inches. So this is very small. It is also unmarked. You can see there's nothing, there's nothing there. This is likely modern. Why did I pick this up? I bought this for two dollars in a thrift store. I, I spend a lot of time in thrift stores. I got it because I picked it up and I spent the whole time that I was in the thrift store, I literally just walked around the store doing, doing this, just, just rubbing my fingers across it. It is immensely satisfying. I, I, I've talked before about how texture is so important for things that make me make me feel happy. This is definitely a case of that. The texture is just incredibly satisfying to, to, to rub and play with. The, there are some issues with the bowl. There is a very tiny crack around the, the glaze on one side. Yeah, it's, you, can, you probably can't see it in the camera. There's a very, very tiny crack in the glaze there. A few of the more raised parts of the paint have rubbed off. Um, this doesn't make any difference to me. Obviously, I don't, I don't care so much. I care about the feel of it. So what is it? <laughs> this is a modern piece, but I know from looking at the design and just from doing some research that this is, this, this is traditional Turkish ceramic painting. So if I, I'm just going to leave that upside down. I get my pictures. So you can see here that this is, this is kind of a bit like, this is traditional, traditional Turkish painting. And you can see here that they have this, uh, this, this flower design that shows up quite a bit. And on this bowl, this design here, it's very similar to this kind of swirl here. And a lot of these, obviously these are the smaller little, the little petals and everything. They all look very much like this. So I ended up falling down a hole in YouTube. <laughs> look, just watching videos of people just doing this, this lovely painting. And it's obviously still done today. There's a few, there's a few places in Turkey that are well, very well known for doing this, this, this style of ceramics. Um, it was really lovely just to watch that and to, and to learn how they do it. And I spent a while just watching like these, these amazingly talented master potters doing these incredible like drinking vessels and everything and then painting them like this. It was just incredibly satisfying. So this one is another one that I doubt I'm going to keep. I love the, the feel of it, but I need it to, I need to do something with it. And I'm not sure I can find a purpose for it right now. Um, I think I will probably either put it up on eBay and see if anyone else would like it. But if not, I'm going to just donate it back to a thrift store and let someone else find it and hopefully love it as much as, as much as I have loved it right now. So thank you very much. And I hope this brings you joy as well. Thank you for watching. Bye.